What's up you guys it's deep away and today we will be creating this comic book cartoon 3d text effect in photoshop so i've already created some videos on the similar topic now if you want to check out those videos then the link for those videos will be in the card above in the description below now if you guys also have any tutorial requests then you can drop them in the comments below we will surely try to create videos on those as well also if you want to keep learning how to create such cool things in photoshop for free then make sure you smash that subscribe button if you haven't already so without wasting any more time of yours let's get started So let's first start by creating a new document so for that go to file and then select the option as new after that you can set the width and height accordingly or else you can set it as follows width is around 3840 pixels height is around 2160 pixels and then set the resolution as 300 pixels per inch and then click on create now the next thing we will be doing is type in our text so for that select horizontal type tool after that you can select any font of your choice download link for the font i'm choosing is in the description below also if you don't know how to install font in photoshop the link for that is in the description as well and then you can set any appropriate size for your text i'm setting it to 300 point and then you need to set the foreground color as black which will be the color of our text after that you can click on ok now using horizontal type tool you can click on the document and then type in your text and then you can click on the stick icon in order to place your text now the next thing we need to do is rotate this text a little bit so for that we need to bring up the transform tool so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t and then we need to rotate the text as follows so once it looks proper after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place your text now we need to place this text at the center of this document so for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on this background layer which will give you the selection of the background layer as well as keep the selection of the text layer active and then select move tool after that you can click on align horizontal centers and then click on align vertical centers so now as you can see now the text has been placed at the center of this document after that you need to make the text layer active by clicking on it now we need to convert this text into a smart object so that later on we can edit it non-destructively so for that right click on the text layer and then select the option as convert to smart object so now as you can see now our text has been converted into a smart object now the next thing we need to do is add some stroke to this text so for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as stroke now in the pop-up you need to set the size of the stroke as 30 pixels, position as outside, blend mode as normal, opacity as 100% and then set the fill type as color and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows 6A2684 and then click on OK. After that you can click on OK. So now the next thing we will do is create an extrusion depth of purple color for our text so for that we will create an action like we had created for our previous video so for that go to windows and then select the option as actions. After that you can click on create new action icon and then you can give any name of your choice and then click on record. So the first thing for our action will be to create a duplicate of this text so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus j and then we need to bring up the transform tool so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus t. Now we need to move this text to right by 2 pixels and to top by 2 pixels so for that we need to increase the value of x by 2 pixels and decrease the value of y by 2 pixels so let me just do that. So once it looks proper after that you can click on the stick icon in order to place it. After that you can stop the recording by clicking on the stop icon. So now as you can see now our steps have been recorded now if you want to perform this action then all you need to do is click on the name of the action. After that you can click on this play button in order to perform this action. So as you can see as you clicked on that play button it performed the steps again now you need to click on this play button until you reach a copy count of 35 so let me just do that. So now as you can see I have stopped at the copy count of 35 now the next thing we need to do is leave this layer and then merge the rest of the text layers into a single group so for that make the 34th layer active by clicking on it and then go at the bottom and then press shift and then click on the first text layer which will give you the selection of the two text layers as well as give you the selection of all the text layers in between. After that you need to press ctrl or command on mac plus g in order to combine all the selected layers into a single group. Now let's rename the group as follows. Now the next thing we need to do is create an orange extrusion depth above this purple extrusion so for that make the 35th layer active by clicking on it and then right click on the layer and then select the option as clear layer style and then again click on add layer style option and then select the option as color overlay. After that you need to keep the blend mode as normal and then click on the color icon and then set the color as follows FF7800 and then click on OK. After that you can click on OK. 
So now in order to create an extrusion depth of this orange color, all you need to do is play this action which you have previously created until you reach a copy count of 50. So let me just do that. So now as you can see now I have stopped at the copy count of 50. Now the next thing we need to do is leave this layer and then merge the rest of the text layers into a single group. So for that make the 49th layer active by clicking on it and then go at the bottom and then press shift and then click on the 35th layer which will give you the selection of the two layers as well as give you the selection of all the layers in between and then press ctrl or command on mac plus g in order to combine all the selected layers into a single group and then let's rename this group as follows now we need to fill this top text layer with that of a nice gradient color so for that make the 50th layer active by clicking on it and then right click on the layer and then select the option as clear layer style and then click on add layer style option and then select the option as gradient overlay. Now in the pop-up you need to set the blend mode as normal, opacity as 100% and then click on the gradient icon which will give you a new pop-up in order to select the gradient. Now over here we will be creating a custom gradient so for that select the gradient as black and white and then you need to double click on the leftmost bottom color stop which will give you an option to select the color and then set the color as follows FF A200 and then click on OK. After that you need to double click on the rightmost bottom color stop and then set the color as follows FF FC 00 and then click on OK and then make sure that the reverse checkbox has been unticked after that you need to set the style as linear angle as 90 degree and then set the scale as 100% so now as you can see now our text is looking somewhat like this now the next thing we need to do is add some highlights in order to make this layer look more distinguishable so for that select the option as in a shadow and then set the blend mode as screen Click on the color icon and then set the color as white and then click on OK. After that you need to set the opacity to around 75%. Make sure you tick this use global light option and then set the angle as around 145 degree. Set the distance as around 15 pixels. Choke as 0% and then set the size as around 1 pixels and then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this in a shadow. So this was the before and now this is after. So as you can see it gives such a nice highlight to this text after that you can click on ok. Now we need to add similar kind of highlights to a purple layer as well so for that expand the extrusion purple group and then make the 34th layer active by clicking on it. Now since we want to add this highlights on the stroke of the text so for that we can't use the same layer style of the text itself since it will add the highlights on the text and not on the stroke so for that we need to merge this single layer into a group so for that press ctrl or command on mac plus g. So now as you can see now that single layer has been merged into a group. Now let's rename this group as follows. Now we need to add that layer style on this group which will in turn add the highlights on this stroke. So for that click on add layer style option and then select the option as in a shadow. Now in the pop up set the blend mode as normal, color as white and then set the opacity to around 50%. Make sure you untick this use global light option and then set the angle to around 170 degrees and then set the distance as 7 pixels. Choke as 8% and then set the size as around 9 pixels. After that you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this in a shadow. So this was the before. Now this is after. Now let's change the color of this layer as well in order to make it look more distinguishable. So for that select the option as color overlay and then set the blend mode as normal and then click on the color icon and then set any lighter purple color of your choice or else you can set it as follows 911 CBC and then click on OK. Now let me just show you the before and after of this color overlay so for that clicking on the checkbox. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on ok. So now as you can see now our 3D text is almost ready. Now the next thing we need to do is add that half tone pattern on the top part of the text so for that make the top layer active by clicking on it and then click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as pattern. Now in the pop up you need to click on the drop down and then select any half tone pattern of your choice. Download link for the half tone pattern I am choosing is in the description below and then you can set the scale according to your choice. I am setting the scale to around 60% and then click on ok and then you need to set the blend mode of this layer to color burn and now using move tool you can place this pattern properly so let me just do that. So now that place is looking perfect for that pattern now the next thing we need to do is only keep the pattern on the top part of the text and remove it from the rest of the text so for that we need to get the selection of the text so for that press ctrl or command on mac and then click on the icon of the text layer which will give you the selection so now once you have the selection after that make the mask of the pattern fill layer active by clicking on it and then go to edit and then select the option as fill now over there you need to set the contents as black and then click on ok 
Now we need to invert this mask. So for that press control or command on Mac plus I in order to invert it. So now as you can see now it is looking proper but we still need to remove it from the highlights as well. So for that we need to hide this pattern fill layer at the moment. So for that click on the eye icon and then make the 50th text layer active by clicking on it. After that go to select and then select the option as color range and then set the select as sample colors and then using the dropper you need to make the selection of the colors of the highlights in the image. So for that let me just zoom into the image a little bit. So as you can see I have made the selection after that you can set the fuzziness to around 156 and then click on OK. So as you can see it gives us selection of all the highlights in the image. After that we can expand this highlights a little bit in order to be more sure. So for that again go to select and then modify and then select the option as expand. After that you can set the expand by to 1 pixels and then click on OK. Now unhide the pattern fill layer by clicking on the checkbox. After that you can make the mask of this pattern fill layer active by clicking on it. And then again go to edit and then select the option as fill. After that you can set the contents as black and then click on OK. After that press Ctrl or command on Mac plus D in order to deselect the selection. Now let me just make this image fit into the document. So now as you can see now our text is completely ready. Now the next thing we need to do is add some nice background in order to make it look more proper. So for that go at the bottom and then make the background layer active by clicking on it. And then go to file and then select the option as place embedded. After that you can select any background image of your choice. Download link for the image I am choosing is in the description below. And then select the option as place. And then you can scale this image accordingly so that it fits into the document. So let me just do that. So once this image looks proper, after that you can click on this tick icon in order to place it. Now the next thing we need to do is change the color of this background. So for that click on create new fill or adjustment layer icon and then select the option as solid color. And then you can set the color as follows 5B00A9 and then click on OK. After that you need to set the blend mode of this layer to color. So now our background is completely ready. Now the next thing we need to do is add some shadows. So for that make the extrusion orange group active by clicking on it. And then click on add layer style option and then select the option as drop shadow. Now in the pop up you need to set the blend mode as multiply, color as black, opacity as 50% and then make sure you untick this use global light option and then set the angle as 45 degree and then set the distance as 15 pixels, spread as 0% and then set the size to around 10 pixels. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow. So this was the before and now this is after. So as you can see it gives such a nice shadow on this orange side over here. After that you can click on OK. Now let's add overall shadow as well. So for that make the extrusion purple group active by clicking on it. And then again click on add layer style option and then select the option as drop shadow. After that you need to set the blend mode as multiply, color as black, opacity as 75%. Make sure you untick this use global light option and then set the angle as 45 degree and then set the distance to around 25 pixels, spread as 0% and then set the size to around 60 pixels. And then you can keep the rest of the settings as default. Now let me just show you the before and after of this drop shadow. So this was the before and now this is after. After that you can click on OK. So now as you can see now our image is looking more proper. So yeah that's it guys that's the final image. I hope you guys like this video on how to create this comic book cartoon 3D text effect in Photoshop. Now if you guys like this video then give us a thumbs up. It helps the YouTube algorithm in spreading the video. Also you can share it to the ones who might be interested in such videos. And subscribe to the channel for more videos in Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.